Hello, friends, fiends, and fellow YouTubers, and welcome to episode 654 of the Daily Comic and Collectible. Today, the collectible of the day is the Hasbro Toys Marvel Legends Series Controller Build a Figure Wave Marvel's Speedball Action Figure. When Robbie Baldwin was exposed to an extra dimensional energy source, he became Speedball able to project a kinetic energy field allowing him to bounce like a super-powered rubber ball. This six-inch scale Marvel Legends action figure of Speedball is inspired by the character's appearance in Marvel Comics. This 112 scale figure features the character's classic costume throughout his appearances throughout the comics. This figure features premium articulation for advanced poses and displays in your Marvel collection. Speedball features premium detailing and deco, including his distinct blue and orange deco and protective goggles. This is also part of the controller Build-A-Figure Wave. You can collect the series to create your own controller figure. This figure comes in a collector's friendly window display box and was released by Hasbro Toys. Now, the comic of the day is New Warriors, Volume 1, Issue Number 1, from July of 1990, with story by Fabian Nicisa, art by Mark Bagley, and cover by Mark Bagley. This story is titled, From the Ground Up. The story opens with Night Thrasher grabbing Richard Ryder, who was formerly known as Nova, and dangling his body over the building's ledge. Dropping Richard Ryder like that would have led to his immediate death had his powers not kicked in at the very last moment. Meanwhile, Marvel Boy attempts to prove his abilities to the Avengers team. He decides to stroll into the Avengers headquarters, use his powers, and impress the Avengers enough to have them immediately ask him to become a member. However, the security devices were too much for him to handle, and Captain America turned Marvel Boy down, asking him to try back again in a few years. While departing, he came across Night Thrasher and Nova, both in gear now. He obviously accepts their proposal. Taking Nova and Marvel Boy to Taylor Foundation, we are introduced to Cord and Ty. We also see how Night Thrasher came across the information. We see them tap into the Hellfire Club's computers and also learn that Night Thrasher learned about Nova by tapping into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s computers when S.H.I.E.L.D. went down. It's then they contact Angelica Jones, also known as Firestar, after getting her information from the Hellfire Club computers. They call her and threaten to reveal her secret to the world unless she meets them in 30 minutes. Back in Queens, we meet up with Namorita, Namor's cousin, who is observing a cleanup of a polluted park by a company called Gene Tech that used a machine to pinpoint all forms of radioactive contamination in the soil and isolating the terra firma. However, they unwillingly unleashed Terax. At that same time, Firestar meets Night Thrasher, Nova, and Marvel Boy. They sense the tremor and begin jumping into action. Robbie Baldwin, better known as Speedball, was also not far away, and he felt the tremor too. He leaves his mother to discuss business while he turns himself into the masked Marvel Speedball and bounces his merry way towards the action. Namorita is joined by Night Thrasher, Marvel Boy, Nova, and Firestar in the battle against Terax. 
When Nova tries to strike Terax, he's battered away like a senseless fly. While Firestar strikes, it creates a diversion, which allows Namorita to land a sucker punch against Terax. Trying to keep him off guard, Night Thrasher jumps in with a smoke bomb, trying to blind Terax. But as Terax states, he can see in the deepest, darkest regions of space. So Smoke did little against him. He grabbed Night Thrasher and threw him towards some shrapnel that would have surely killed him had Marble Boy's telekinetic powers not saved him at the last moment. Fortunately, that's when Speedball arrived and bounced all over Terax, rendering him somewhat surprised. But that is when Marble Boy captured Speedball in a telekinetic bubble until all the kinetic energy within reached an incredible bursting point and was unleashed on Terax, which stripped him apart. Night Thrasher noticed how Terax kept using the ground to replenish himself, and before he could bark the command, Nova and Namorita were already on it. They lifted him up into the air and immediately noticed how he began falling apart. That was when they threw him into the air with every ounce of energy they had and marveled at how he simply exploded, raining down only as small pebbles and rocks. That's when the Avengers came forward to tell them how well they had done, but then took over once Terax was already defeated and thus getting all the credit. However, they all saw how well they worked together, and a new beginning started here. The world has a new team, a new set of heroes, the New Warriors. This story is continued in The New Warriors, issue number two. Geek Fact! This issue is considered a key issue, featuring the origins of the New Warriors. It's also the team's first ongoing series. Bonus Geek Fact! In 1972, Prince Namor, the Submariner, first met his teenage cousin, Namorita, the daughter of Namora. In 1975, the Guardians of the Galaxy traveled back in time to protect their leader's past self, one Vance Astrovic. In 1977, Richard Ryder was given the power of an alien police force to protect the Earth as Nova. 1985, Angelica Jones discovered she was a microwave-powered mutant and chose the code name Firestar. And in 1988, a freak accident left young Robbie Baldwin with incredible kinetic powers as Speedball. But, as with so many comic book characters, they each fell by the wayside as new characters were created and new stories written. Rich was depowered, Vance forgotten, Angelica a minor part of an army of ex-characters, that is, until a young man named Night Thrasher, arrived with a plan. State of the Art Gaming. Uncanny Action. The Uncanny X-Men. 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 X-Men fans, now the fantastic gang of heroes, Wolverine, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Storm, Colossus, Iceman, are all at your command to save the entire human race. As Professor Xavier, you must choose the right X-Men to complete your colossal mission to stop the evil mutants. For uncanny and explosive Nintendo action and strategy, X marks the spot. And coming soon for Game Boy, the amazing Spider-Man! 
Tony from LJN. And final geek fact. Robert Robbie Baldwin was born and raised in Springdale, Connecticut. He was the son of Maddie and Justin Baldwin. Their overbearing and smothering parenting allegedly turned him into the angst-ridden teenager. His father wanted him to go into law, while his free-spirited mother hoped he would go into arts. After school, he interned at Hammond Labs. Robbie snuck in to watch Dr. Nicholas Benson's experiment that tapped an extra-dimensional energy source and was accidentally irradiated by it when the energy went out of control. The energy gave him superpowers. Whenever Robbie was hit with an impact above a certain strength, he becomes surrounded by a protective kinetic energy field that manifested in the form of a more muscular body, a spandex costume, and floating bubbles in the air around him. When he was in speedball mode, any impact against him caused him to bounce instead of being harmed. He could also harness the energy and direct it more forcefully, or alternately use it as a bubble shield to protect others, catch others, and even stop moving objects like bullets in mid-air. Using his powers, he had a brief career as a local hero against a series of ill-conceived villains such as Sticker, the Two-Legged Rat, and Feathered Felon, among others. It was revealed that scientist Dr. Clyde Bodchick was responsible for equipping or empowering most of Springdale's villains. Even Dr. Benson's cat Niles developed the same kinetic energy powers Robbie did. Robbie was assigned to catch the bouncing feline so that Benson could study it, but Niles always remained elusive. Speedball even tried out for Avengers membership, but was rejected because Captain America viewed his fighting style as too unrefined. Speedball accidentally found himself at the site of the formation of a new young adult super team, the New Warriors, where he really started to come into his own. Night Thrasher had actually not intended for him to join the team, but his arrival and assistance in the battle against Terax convinced Thrash to let him join. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again Monday. This is... Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip, baby. Over and out.